weather. Hey, yeah, I'm going to have you do that while I'm up there I talking. will do that. Please <laughs> let me know when you need me. Guys, you aren't kidding, though. It's been downright hot. Unfortunately, with the heat has been that side of humidity. That's what made has made things mm -hmm. so rough this year. And it's starting to stack up during our current heat wave. We showed you this about... Oh, 30 minutes ago. I think it's worth showing again, though, the amount of days we've had under heat alerts just this year and just alone in the last 13 days in a row have been under heat alerts. Now, of those, seven of them were heat indices above 105, which is classified as a heat advisory, heat indice being that feel-like temperature. Same with the excessive heat warning, except that's when it gets above 110. We've had six of those days under excessive heat warnings. The hottest in Waco so far this year, only 100. We've only had two 100-degree days which kind of drives home the fact that the problem has been the humidity. I feel like temperature climbed to 114 on June 19th. I do think now that we've burned off a little bit of that humidity, we'll add more of those 100 degree days, but it's still going to be a balance between the heat and the humidity that causes the issues here going over the next few days. 81 in Waco, 81 in Killeen. Feels like uh, 76 rather in Temple. Those are your feel like numbers. Actual temperatures near the 70s. Now there is a heat advisory posted for today, so we'll add another day to that list. Feel like temperatures around 105 to 110. Excessive heat warning out for our western counties. Feel like temperatures could be around 110 to 115. Planning out your Monday, expect temperatures near 102 this afternoon. Could feel like 109 when you factor in that humidity, though. 102 in Waco, 103 Killeen, and 103 in Temple. I want to talk about what's on the way. Again, we've had high pressure fully in control. That's going to build over the center of us here as we go through the middle of the week. That's when this heat will peak. And then as that high backs off, we'll get a little bit of relief. We'll also introduce some moisture, bringing some slight rain chances in as we start off early next week. So a little bit of relief, light at the end of the tunnel. We've just got to get through the tunnel first, and that's what we have here over the next few days. Could even see highs dipping down to the mid-90s by the end of next week.